Hi everyone, I'm Sam Kahane, and you're watching theCUBE on the ground here at the IBM Data First launch event. I'm very excited about the event, a lot of energy here. I'm here with two CUBE alumni, so I'm here with Des Blanchfield, uh, the resident data scientist for the Bloor Group. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome, thanks for having me. Of course, and also Nancy Hensley, Director of Offering Management at IBM. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. So, I just found out that these two have been working together for a long time, but tonight is the first time that they actually met. Tell us about that, how did that come to be? Well, it's, it's a weird thing, it's like a deja vu, because you know each other, you've been communicating by email, you've been talking on Twitter for a long time, and then you meet a real person, and in fact, we have this weird thing where we almost finished a sentence that we started <laughs> two weeks ago. Um, and it, you know, so, uh, and it's, it's an interesting thing that comes about with these types of events uh, um, where you get all of these like minds together and we just sort of kick on as if we've known each other forever because we have, but we get to actually meet in real life. So it's, it's a little quirky, but you know, it's fun. Yes. We can finish a sentence as long as it's 140 <laughs> characters or less, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, we gotta, we gotta do it in tweet bites. That's right. Yeah. Oh, we love that. We'll we talk love in that tweets. at theCUBE. So is it true that you're planning already on meeting in person again after this? A reunion uh, I, bl of some I believe we are actually, because I think in three weeks time we're at World of Watson, uh, yeah. which will be great fun, and that's in Las Vegas, yeah? Yeah, we, we, can, we can geek out and talk data science together. Oh, God help us, yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be another fun event. And, and I think, again, it's, uh, we were talking earlier about these types of events that IBM hosts, uh, are kind of an enabler for a bunch of us who are out there as practitioners trying to drive the innovation, drive the, the disruption, um, to, to come together as a, as a community is, is actually a rarity. And so it's, it's fantastic that IBM's holding these events because it gives us that chance to take a, a break, a breath of fresh air, and just share ideas and compare, and then network as well. Absolutely, so let's talk a little bit about the event. So some of our viewers might not know about the Data First launch. Could you tell us you know, what's going on here? What should people look out for? What's the big news? So the big news is really around how we do a better job putting data to work. I think for a long time when we've been talking a lot about big data, it's been more about how we store the data and collect the data, which made us very data driven, but not necessarily putting it to work. So now we got to get past that. We actually have to get to the point where we find ways to innovate, to open up access to the data. So this is all about that combination of technology and cultural shift, but how we actually accelerate those capabilities into the business as opposed to just storing the data. Right. One of the biggest challenges we face in anything around data science and the whole concept of big data is the technology stack. And it, it, you know, data science and big data are no different than any other technology challenge we've had in the last two or three, four decades. Um, but it moves faster than any of the previous decades we've had. And so when anyone wants to do a big data project or a data science project, one of the first challenges they have is actually getting the technology stack. Right. What IBM's done is, is actually essentially turned it into webmail. You know, and in fact, when we looked at the, I think with the pricing model is like $50 a seat. So all of a sudden, instead of a multi-million dollar investment for $50 in the same way that you would with a, a Google account, you can now subscribe to the entire stack that you need to apply data science to your problem. So the, 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 this is going to be a massive disruptor to, to what we've seen before, where we take eight or nine months to build a stack. Now we're doing it eight or nine minutes with a credit card. And, and that's phenomenally exciting because now we can stop worrying about the tech and we can start worrying about the problems we're trying to solve. And we can open up the ability to collaborate, which has been really key, especially for the data scientists to be Indeed. able to better collaborate with the business. Because between the two of them, then you have the whole perspective of really where you want to go yep. with what you want to do with the data. And that's really key to data works. And, and you're right, you can start small, pick any entry point, and then just scale it out to massive scale. A lot of excitement here. Any last words you want to leave the viewers with? <laughs> Go try DataWorks, <laughs> data science, <laughs> the data science experience. There's plenty of entry points, but get out there and try it. Yeah, I, I would definitely say get hands on. You uh, hands on? I have. I've had the privilege of being an early adopter. So get hands on. Understand what it actually means, and, and also just sit up and pay attention to what IBM's doing with their approach, because I, I think this is going to be a significant shift in in the way we approach data science and big data. Because as I said, it's been a very engineering heavy space. Now that whole problem's gone. So anyone that's interested in, in, in essentially leapfrogging that whole challenge just needs to pay attention to what these guys are doing and and, and try it out. So yeah, sign up, try it out. Right. It's a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> Follow Des. Des, that. what is the Twitter handle? It's at uh, Des underscore Blanchfield. Okay, so thank you. So you heard it, everyone. Get your hands dirty, get into it, try it out. You're doing the right thing. You know, you're here watching the Cube at SiliconAngleDeep.tv. Uh, uh, that's the best way to learn. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us.
and uh, tune in soon for more coverage from the IBM Data First launch event.